Hello, welcome to my tech fan. In this video, I have very interesting uh, comparison testing where I will compare uh, CD printed versus CNC machine with parts. And I'll try to use here the same materials, which are ABS, polycarbonate, and nail on the PA12. The ABS and uh, polycarbonate uh, parts are printed with FDM technology and nail on with SLS. All test objects are made by PCBV using their CD printing and CNC machining services but this is not a sponsored video i got these test objects for free but i'm not paid anything about this the ordering process is very simple first we have to create an account and then upload the files choose the materials and technology doing some other parameters now there is a big difference between the file types for cd printing we can upload even the very popular stl files for cnc machining we have to upload step files here you can see an example how can you export the step files from Fusion 360. And after this, um, well, some estimate is automatic, something is done manually, but uh, somebody will check if that is that part uh, printable or CNC machinable, and uh, we will get some estimated price. And after this, we can choose if we want to place the order or the price is too much or something like that. Now the price. I can talk about the prices for these test objects, which are quite small parts and very easy for CD printing and also for CNC machining. Now parts for CNC machining is approximately 2.3 times bigger compared to CD printed parts. If you compare the CNC machining parts, it is very similar for all three materials because basically the tool had, have to do the same path in this case. Uh, if you compare the CD printed parts price, in this case the ABS would be the cheapest and then approximately 1.6 times bigger is the polycarbonate and nylon. Don't forget the nylon is for the SLS printing, but it was very equal to polycarbonate FDM printing. There are some limitations of course in both technology basically. Uh, for example, we cannot create a bench with CNC machining, even if we have a five axis toolhead, even then that uh, tool cannot go inside the cabin of the bench, for example. I believe that uh, printing has some limitations in the size. Usually those milling machines can be much bigger compared to the printers. What are some advantages then of the CNC milling, especially with the smaller parts? But I think that, uh, first of all, we don't have that weakness along the z-axis, you know, the layer adhesion weakness. Uh, then I believe that the accuracy should be better with the CNC machining because we don't have that shrinking when we do when we do see the printing, especially for these three materials. So I believe the dimensional accuracy is better for CNC part. And I believe that uh, it can be even much bigger and faster, especially with the bigger parts. Imagine if you have something this size, how long would it take for CD printing? And with CNC machining, especially with the softer materials, it can cut uh, that material much faster. Let's see what's in the box. These are all the test objects and the packaging is really great so they are protected during the shipping. These labels and numbers are very important because they will be very similar. So I have to unbox them and place them in these separate boxes which are labeled. And in this packaging some gifts was included but I think by default this is not always included if you place an order. So you have to place this separately in your shopping cart. I checked the list, every test object is here and now it is uh, separated, so I will not mix them, they are marked. Let me show you first my test specimens. This one is for the bending test, the uh, ISO impact test, and this one is for the creep test, the temperature test. This is for the tensile test, smallest cross section area is 4x4mm, so this is that hook test. And this one is for the layer adhesion, but of course I have these only for 3D printed parts. The smallest cross section area is also 4x4 four four millimeters. And now let me show you the material. So this is the 3D printed row, this is the CNC machined one. And uh, this uh, 3D printing is quite good. I cannot even see the layers, no elephant foot. Colors is a little bit different. This is completely white and this is light beige color. Polycarbonate, CD printed, is in white color. And the CNC machine is in transparent color. Really great transparency we have with this material. And the nylon is in black in both cases, but I can recognize them because uh, the CNC machine is more shiny, 
compared to the SLS CD printed nylon. And now let me show you the dimensional accuracy. So this is a 3D printed row and uh, with these materials we probably have some shrinking. So each of them will be a little bit below 80 millimeters. 7982, 7961, 7966, and now CNC machined parts 80.07, 80.05, and 8000. So, really great uh, dimensional accuracy we have with the CNC machined parts. I've also measured these hooks, uh, but off camera, let me show you just one measuring. In X and Y direction, I noticed the CNC parts are really accurate, but in Z direction, there is some inaccuracy, but you can see the summary table now on the screen. It's time to start the mechanical testing. This is a tensile or pulling test, ABS parts. And here the CNC machine parts was a little bit stronger compared to the CD printed. In case of polycarbonate, the strength was very similar. And with nylon parts, the CNC machine was almost two times stronger compared to the CD printed. And they all broke properly on a small cross section area of 4x4 four four millimeters. And this is that uh, hook test. side by side, the ABS parts, and pay attention in all three cases on CSM machine parts you can see some deformation before the break. The braking load was very similar in this case, and this is a nylon, and again very similar brake load in this case too. And as I mentioned on CSC parts we can see first some deformation before the break. And now the layer adhesion test, but of course only with CD printed parts. I'm cutting this bridge. ABS parts, the average uh, layer adhesion 35 kilograms, which is great actually for the ABS. But uh, polycarbonate was even stronger, very impressive 60 kilogram brake load. And nylon, even stronger, don't forget this is SLS printed, 76. And of course they all broke properly on smaller cross section area. Three point bending test here, you can see all load placed, but I've replaced it one by one. And I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. ABS parts with different loads. This is speed up video time lapse, I think 25 times. This is a polycarbonate test object. And this is part from the nylon. And after this test, I couldn't see any visual deformation on these test objects. They still look very straight. The creep test, the deformation under the constant load, which will be 1.25 kilograms. And I will measure this distance between the two reference surfaces uh, in next five days. From my earlier testings, I know that the nylon don't perform good in this kind of creep test. And that's why you don't want to build, I don't know, Voron parts from the nylon, for example. But I'm very curious, is this the case with the CNC machine part 2? I'm locking the position for more accurate measuring. 16.14 I will skip the measuring footage here, but you can see the measured values during I'm placing the load. No surprises here so far, on initial deformation we have the biggest deformation on two nylon parts and the smallest are on the polycarbonate. It's New Year here, so Happy New Year! After one and a half days, no surprises here, quite a lot of creeping I can see on two nylon parts and very minimal deformation on the rest four test objects. We will see after five days, so let's jump in the time. This is the last day of the testing, a lot of deformation on parts from the nylon and with these four very minimal additional deformation. And now let's remove the load. And after approximately five minutes, almost no deformation on these four parts 
and quite a big permanent deformation on two parts from the nylon. And now the isot impact test with this uh, half kilogram hammer. And these are uh, not original notch test objects because here I have a 2x2 two two millimeter slot because I want them to be equal on CD printed and uh, CNC machine parts. And I'm not really sure, but I have the feeling that some of these test objects will not even break under this half kilogram hammer. Each of them perform great in this ISO impact test. They are very tough material compared to the PLA or PTG. The best was the CNC machine polycarbonate, which didn't even break. But let's analyze the pictures. This is the scale. This is the zero position of the hammer. And this is after breaking CD printed ABS. And this is CNC machined ABS, which is tougher material. And then this is CD printed polycarbonate. And this is CNC machine polycarbonate, which didn't break in this test. And this is CD printed nylon, and this is CNC machine nylon. And if I measure everything from the zero position, I will get these distances, which I can use in this equation, of course in meters, to calculate the breaking energy. Overall, all CNC machine parts are stronger, tougher, compared to the CD printed materials. And now my temperature test and I wanted to record the temperature of the first deformation and probably the first one who will start to deform is the ABS, then polycarbonate and then the nylon. Only question is that if there will be any significant difference between CD printed and CNC machine parts. The first deformation I noticed on CD printed ABS part and next one was ABS CNC machine part and then polycarbonate CD printed and then we have a big jump the next one will be the CNC machine polycarbonate but only approximately at 167 degrees Celsius and then CD printed nylon and then I stopped the experiment on 217 degrees Celsius and still no deformation on CNC machine nylon and I'm curious about this nylon. Hmm, it is still completely hard. 270 degrees Celsius. Interesting, only CD printed nylon stick to this silicone pad. I think the winner is quite obvious and now I have to ventilate the oven and the room and uh, then summarize the result. And uh, I will start with the creeping. So these are measured values, but what we need is difference between two days. And that's what we can see on this graph. And here we can see that CD printed nylon was the worst. More than two millimeters of creeping deforming even on the fifth day. So that's quite a lot. The second worst was uh, CNC machine nylon, but significantly better compared to the CD printed version. And actually the best in this test was CNC machine polycarbonate. Uh, no creeping even on the first day. On tensile tests, if we compare these two manufacturing methods to each other, ABS and polycarbonate were very similar to each other, but uh, CNC machine nylon was two times stronger compared to the CD printed version. Now the layer attrition test, and I have this only with the CD printed parts, all three values are very impressive actually, but uh, look at this, on a nylon, Basically, we don't have the weakness in the layer adhesion. These two values are very similar. Of course, don't forget this is printed with SLS technology. On hook test, uh, interesting that uh, these materials perform uh, very similar to each other. Uh, between mat material comparison, the polycarbonate was the best. But it was interesting to notice that on all CNC machine parts, we can see some bending before the break. This can be useful as a warning before the failure. On three point bending test, uh, this is the deformation after 30 seconds under these loads, and the smaller values are better. So, in this test, actually, this CD printed nylon was the worst. And interesting to notice that the uh, ABS part on smaller load it uh, performed very similar to other materials, but under 10 kilograms on higher load uh, it deformed uh, more. But maybe this graph is more interesting where we can see the deformations under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here we can see again that the nylon was quite weak in this test, a lot of creeping, even almost on the 1.25 kilograms. 
And here we can see that uh, CD printed ABS part. So it performed very similar at the beginning on uh, lower loads, like other materials, but on 10 kilograms, which is a little bit higher load, uh, we can even see some creeping on, the, on this deformation. On ISO impact tests, in all three cases, the CNC machine parts perform much better compared to the CD printed versions. And don't forget, this polycarbonate didn't even break in this test. And on a temperature test, <laughs> this is very interesting, uh, coincident that this is almost linear. But uh, as I predicted, the ABS part started with the deform first and then polycarbonate. And the best in this temperature test is actually the nylon. And in all three cases, the CNC machine parts was uh, better compared to the syndicated versions. And don't forget that uh, you can download this Excel table from mytechfund.com website. And here you have the sheet for the price and for the dimensions. Even if you don't need this kind of services at this moment, it is always good to know the possibilities. And uh, for example, a few months ago I needed uh, some test specimen holders from Metal. And actually here I used the PCBWay Metal CNC machining services. And with this video I hope I could help you a little bit to choose the correct material if you need it from this plastic which I listed in this video. If you had some additional experience, you know, let me feel nice in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy designing and ordering.